Okay, that's not copper playing. <laughs> Old school on the Pandora. Yes, sir. You're at KML Studios. Uncle Jazzy, happy Saturday. What's good? This is the spot. It's where we make music happen. It's where we make magic happen. Hit us up on Facebook if you're interested, baby. Fortunately, I don't have a gig today. And I'm actually taking a music break today, uh, other than, you know, listening to some old school on Pandora, my laptop. But um, you're at the spot, KML Studios, and this is also where I do my upholstery work, my custom upholstery work for Jazzy J Leatherworks. So, um, today, we're going to show you what the new project is. So, I've got a new bike being built, uh, which is going to be a, a, what we call a, a, a Frisco Bar Hopper. So, it's a sporty, Harley Davidson sporty chopped up and it's mainly you know um, for short runs you know what I mean so it's gonna have some crazy things on it and whatnot but so today seat build day so I'm gonna take some time out today to uh, build myself a custom seat for that thing so let's get to it here's the little corner of my studio which also fits barely <laughs> my upholstery section where I do my custom work all right so today the project is is we're taking this bus up ass sporty seat the reason why I like this one is because the sporty I do have does have a little bit of kick to it so tend to slide off the back so this one's got a nice notch in the back here so we're gonna take this bus up ass seat I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in all this crap right here all this old shit pretty much use a, a kind of a bondo-ish technique uh, but with foam and then uh, redo all this so this is my bad boy right here so I say my bad girl 1960s singer pot owl up to an inch thick of leather could fit in this bugger okay so we've got the top stripped this is basically the top of it what I'm going to use for the main measurements so this is going to be the material uh, the leather that I'm going to be using for the um, for the band area the outside of the seat and as well as the middle part where I'm going to emboss um, some Polynesian stuff triangles and whatnot which are gonna like kind of pop out of the seat yeah um, I kind of used this same scheme for one of the, a core Puna member just recently but I didn't want to spend no money on leather so I'm gonna use this over here which I already had in stock Not perfect, but you know how I do. Just chopping, homie. All right, so here we have um, first portion of it all. Okay, so this is the top part of the seat. As you can see, I got the gray ostrich rolling, black alligator, kind of did a little bit of triangle, kind of embossed theme, kind of pops out at you, you know what I mean? 
spider webs to do the uh, back side. So this is kind of how the thing looks right here. Okay. Got the band on it. Decided to go with the gray leather. Just to make the, uh, you know, just to make it less, you know, Filipino looking gaudy, you know what I'm saying? Alright, there it is. It's a wrap bike, so I'm not trying to get it all perfect. A little bit of wrinkles here, but once it's the, the leather is very hard. It's been sitting for a little bit, so as soon as I start sitting on it for a little while, this stuff's going to stretch out. Then I'm going to re-glue the bottom, get a little bit tighter, but for now, just to get it on the bike. Pat right there. Bam. 